Hey guys, we're here at Disneyland, gonna see the Candlelight Choir, hosted by Chris Pratt.
ladies and gentlemen, Chris Pratt. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus.
out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of King David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There were shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring good tidings, great joy which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this, this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Thank you. 
shepherds rose to follow the star as it shone in the east, when suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward them. Now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. Now when then they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is he Angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch our King.
after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go, and search carefully for the young child, and when you found him, bring back word that I may come and worship him also. they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was and when they had come into the house they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him and when they had opened their treasures they presented gifts to him gold, frankincense and myrrh
wise men and shepherds over 2,000 years ago, we pause to remember the child sleeping in the night and his eternal promise of goodness and light. season with a renewed sense of kindness and compassion to others. We gather at celebrations. We create memories with family and friends. We go home. For well, the coming of the holidays brings the promise of faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. 
And so from age to age, the mighty to the meek, from the young to the old, for the healthy and the sick, for the rich and the poor, for all nations, great or small, we rejoice in this season of love with one another, with merry greetings, with gracious gifts, and with glorious song. shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. <laughs>
Lightning Align Orchestra, Bill Carter, and Campex Hunters. Our conductor, Nancy Sulahi. And tonight's guest narrator, Chris Pratt. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It was my honor to share this beautiful candlelight ceremony with all of you. It's been a very, very special and inspiring night. For me, being a parent has changed my life in, in so many child. And when I stare at my son, that precious creation of mine, and I watch as he tries to please me in his sweet ways. The love that I feel is so pure and unending. And the more we love our children, the more we understand the capacity to which we are loved by our Father in heaven. give us a great deal of comfort and hope. Let's embrace every one of our tomorrows with hope and love. And through this holiday spirit, may we continue to spread peace and goodwill throughout the world. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Yeah.